Somebody cared enough to invite you. Somebody told you. Some parent loved you and brought you to church. Friend, most of us got in because somebody was concerned about us. Amen? Young people, I'm here to tell you that. Friend, we have got to get concerned. We've got to do more than come down here and enjoy good music and hear a song. We've got to get out of this building and go get concerned about somebody. We've got to get over our own sorry self. All we do is think about ourselves and what can we buy and where can we go and what can we do Why young people die and go to hell. Empty lives, no future, no hope. I'm telling you, friend, the word of God offers hope. Amen. And friend, if you've been saved, then you have an obligation to tell somebody. You say, well, I don't know what to say. Well, why don't you just invite them to come to church with you? Hello? Yeah. <laughs> huh? Why don't you invite them to come? Why do you keep showing up to the youth group by yourself? Huh? Why do you keep showing up down here to the church service every Sunday by yourself? Why don't you tell your parents, if you're not in the driving in, hey, there's a friend, I invited them to come to church, and we got to go by and pick them up and bring them to the house of God. Why don't you stop coming down here by yourself? Maybe if you get concerned about somebody and bring some lost person with you on Sunday morning, maybe you'll do, be able to do something besides sit there and text. Huh? <coughs> and walk in and out like this is some mob. Sitting there bored out of your mind. Get somebody in here with you, some lost kid in here with you from your school there. Brother, you'll be so busy praying for them, you won't have time to sit there with that miserable look on your face. <laughs> time to figure out when it's going to be over. Huh? I'm telling you, folks, God's a great God. Amen. And he's in the life-changing business. And people are in a mess. People are in a bind. Our nation's in a bind. We got lost, hell-bound kids. You know the way the kids are that you hang out with? Kids there at your school. You know the things they're involved in. You know the way they're wasting their life away. You know their filthy language. You know their drug habits. You know what's going on in their lives. Friend, we got to stop looking down at those people. Wondering, won't somebody do something? Or why don't they change? Or why not this? Or why not the other? We have got to get concerned about those people. Isn't that right? I mean, that's what we got to do. He said, well, that's what we got a youth pastor for. I beg your biblical pardon. <laughs> Friend, I'm going to tell you, the job of the pastor or the youth pastor, their job is not to reach your friends. According to the word of God, their job is to equip you to do the work of ministry. Huh? Hello? Their job is to equip us to do the work of ministry. We got too many people sitting down in the church not doing a cotton-picking thing. Amen. You're welcome. That's exactly right, brother. We got people sitting down in God's church not doing a cotton-picking thing, won't do anything for God. We got adults doing that. And, brother, that's why our churches are cold and dead. And we got young people coming behind them not doing anything for God. Won't do anything in the church. He said, sit there and complain. It's too cold. <laughs> it's too hot. The music's too loud. Would you like a little cheese with all that wine? <laughs> Just wine, wine, wine. We got adults, all they do is come down here to wine. Why don't you go do something for God and you won't have time to wine? How about that? This isn't a spectator sport. Go get involved. Go be a blessing. Use your spiritual gift. If you don't know what it is, find out what it is. And then get in God's church and engage. Do something for the kingdom of God. Instead of coming in here, plopping down week after week, whining and complaining. Brother, we need to get busy for God. Isn't that right? And young people, I'm telling you, you need to get involved. And do something around the church. Learn now. Learn now. Get involved now. Get involved right now. Get involved. Do something for God. And you won't grow up with this apathy towards God's church. And think it's just some place to show up on Sunday morning and try to make it through the hour. Just all you can do. Man, to get through. Lord, when is it going to be done? When, when, when will it be over? Brother, I'm going to tell you, 
Most of the people who go to church can't wait for it to get over. And there's something bad wrong with that. Hello? There's something bad wrong with that. I'm telling you. Because we've come to celebrate the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And it's hard to celebrate when you hadn't been doing any walking with him. And that's why you're bored to tears. And young people, I'm going to tell you, I encourage you to get in the Word of God. Just take you a verse or two. Or get some devotional book. You can ask your youth pastor. They can recommend something for you. Just get your small portion of scripture and read it and reread it. And let it become a part of your heart and mind. And so that you come to church, you'll be able to enjoy it and be engaged and you'll be able to walk with God. And I'm telling you, friend, that'll make a difference in your life. Do you hear me? Yeah. It'll make a difference. It'll make a difference in your church service. If you'll do that, you'll be amazed how much better your church service gets. If you walk with God before you get there. Hello? <laughs> friend, if we'll walk with him before we get there. I'm telling you. We ought to come to God's house to celebrate. Just like we go down to see the football game. People are sitting there yelling and carrying on, having a big time. Just enjoying life. And they come to God's church. About to look, looking like they're about to die. I'm going to tell you folks something. <coughs> Boy, those of you who got issues with your church and you're mad about everything and you, nothing's going right and you always upset. And hey, go do something for God. Go do something for God. One reason you want it so much because you don't do anything in God's church. What are you doing? Huh? Well, what, what, are you, what are you doing for God? What are you doing? Because it's coming down here and parking yourself. By God's church.